brush my hair You can go to sleep. If you make a wrong turn, I'll tell you. Turn off there! There! Is this where that friend of yours is going to say Brian is? No, we won't get there till dawn. My stomach has feelings too, you know. Tell me about Brian. About Basco? How do I know? It took him a long time to get used to Happy Dale. At first he was horrified. But, you know, not everybody's cut out for living in the nut house. It's like this. The worst part is that swine Kurgan made life real hard on him. He does that with all the rookies. But Basco stood up to him. I liked the guy. I said, we're like kindred spirits. Banana! And he was. No one can steal keys or trick an orderly or fool a nurse like he can. And at night, even though he was hard to convince, that kid had a natural born talent for poker. And he hardly even paid attention. He'd spend the whole day thinking about his next hypnotherapy session with Dr. Bennett. I'm innocent and I'm sane, he'd always say. Soon I'll be free and get back to Gina again. Two days ago, yeah, it was Monday. On Monday, he went totally berserk from the therapy. Bennett wants to throw me in jail. I've got to escape. We'll miss you. Gabo, you've escaped hundreds of times. You've got to help me out of here. Pipe down, Basco. Let me think. What you need is a Clint Eastwood. Huh? It's an escape designed for beginners. Not very artistic, but effective. I'm not going back to jail. Tell me what needs to be done and... I'll do it. Listen up. You go into the casino and climb through the vent for the air conditioning ducts. Right behind the cover, you'll find a map. Use it to get to the central fan. A huge tube comes out of there. Climb up one of the numbered ladders. Doesn't matter which one, but don't even think of going up number two. Slip between the bars and you'll reach the tower at the top of the roof. You'll see a cable that leads down to the highway right outside the walls of Happy Dale. Just slide down that puppy end. Thanks for the plan! Enjoy your stay, idiot! Kurgan! Stop! Open up, Kurgan! Open it! Now what do I do? That psycho stole our plan. Basco, the art of running away involves much more than following a plan to the T. Improvise. But how am I supposed to get into the casino? That psycho locked the door from the inside. Improvise, I say. And don't be dozing off. You gotta get everything ready to escape right when the clock strikes midnight. Not a minute later or a minute sooner. Możesz mi przypomnieć pierwotny plan ucieczki? Could you remind me what the original escape plan was? Go into the casino. Go into the air ducts through the vent. Follow the map you find until you reach the central fan. Climb up the tube and slide through the bars. Drop down the cable on the roof and you're free. Wszystko byłoby ładnie pięknie, gdyby nie Kurgan ukradł nam klucze do kasyna. No nic, będziemy musieli improwizować, tak jak to powiedział Gabbo. Mam nadzieję, że nam się uda uciec z tego zakładu psychiatrycznego. Czemu muszę wejść do kanału wentylacyjnego przez otwór w kasynie? Why do I have to go into the air ducts through the vent in the casino? You can't use the air vent in the common areas because there's always someone who can see you. The air duct vents in the rooms are so close to the cabinets that they're impossible to use. Only Munchkin Bob managed to get through one. But of course he was smaller than a shoebox. In other words, the air duct vent in the casino was the only sensible choice. Czyli będziemy musieli tak czy inaczej udać się do kasyna. Nie wiem jeszcze jak, ale coś wymyślimy. Czasami nie wiem co myśleć. Na pewno jesteś wariatem? Sometimes I don't know what to think. Are you sure you're crazy? I haven't got a clue. It's not something that worries me. But I don't plan on contradicting these smart aleck shrinks who've been analyzing me since I was a kid. If they think I'm nuts, then so be it! I'm gonna keep planning my escape, Gabo. Good for you. See you later, Gabo. Okay. And you can tell me about how Bennett sold you up the river, right? Now would be better. When I came to, after being hypnotized, Bennett was already at his desk talking on the phone. Judge Whitley, I was just wanting to, uh... Oh, it's all settled now. Well, first thing tomorrow, I'll have the report to you. But in conclusion, he's lying. He's not mentally ill, he's completely cognizant of his acts. He belongs in a prison and should never be let out. Nice story, Basco. Now get back to work. Great. What can I do to get into that casino? Okej, okay, rozpoczynamy drugi rozdział, moi drodzy. Przy okazji, hej, z tej strony Arturo, witam was na swoim kanale i kontynuujemy Runway Przewrotny Los. Dobra, widzę, że mamy tutaj Erniego i mogę z nim porozmawiać. 
Tablica ze zdjęciami. Na górze znajdował się klucz do tego pokoju. Jest to kasyno. We're all up there. The insane crowd and the crew that takes care of us. Great idea, so we can all remember who everyone is. Because around here, every Tom, Dick and Harry could be Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Jestem ciekaw, czy ci, co mają te czerwone ramki, to są chorzy pacjenci, a to jest personel. Prawdopodobnie. Zdjęcie Kurgana. He's tortured me ever since I got here. And now he's trying to keep me from escaping. A, wygląda jak taki typowy psychol. A.K.A. Dr. Reset, for reasons which defy anyone's memory. Wygląda na sympatycznego. He looks better in a hat. He's a nice guy, but since he thinks his face is covered in ears, he comes off as a little eccentric. Wow, ten to dopiero ma paranoję. Painter, musician and escape artist. A true jack of all trades. No tak, uciekł w trumnie, w której miał być pochowany Brian. Wykorzystał Ginę do swojej ucieczki. Ale mam nadzieję, że dzięki temu my też się wydostaniemy z tego okropnego miejsca. Seriously, you can tell he hasn't had an easy time in these last few months. Nie wiem dlaczego, ale wydaje mi się, że Brian na tym zdjęciu wygląda na lekko grubszego niż jest w rzeczywistości. My silent roomie. The poor guy's throat is really hurting. Okay, i ten uśmiech taki złowieszczy. He's my doubles partner in ping pong, but since he's been ranting and raving for the last few days, all our matches were forfeited. E, też taki sympatyczny gościu. No dobra, przyjrzyjmy się personelowi. I trusted him until now. He said my case was looking good. But in the end, he was going to have me locked up in the pen. Man, is she insistent when it comes to me taking my medication. Ale ma wredny wyraz twarzy. Seems like a sort of redneck version of Elvis. Tak, to jest Ernie. To jest ten gościu, który zabrał tamtą babeczkę Luianę, czy jak ona tam miała na randkę. She's the exact opposite of Miss Palmer. Friendly, pleasant, hardworking. Too bad it's her day off. I wonder why they call him Nuno the Stick Face. Ogólnie ten gościu powinien mieć też czerwoną ramkę i znajdować się po tej stronie. Dobra, pogadajmy z Ernim. Hey Ernie. Hold on, Basco. What was all that yelling at Kurgan about? Uh, nothing. We were just playing uh hide and go seek. Oh? It's hard to believe you two get along. What do you need? Co sądzisz o ludziach w Happy Dale? What do you think about the people at Happy Dale? The employees or the patients? Personelu. Employees. Who exactly? Doktorzy. The doctors. My favorite is Bennett. He's reduced people's medication and the solitary confinement and the rough therapy sessions. He's a hard worker. Pielęgniarki. The nurses. Ooh, they're all hotties. Too bad some of them are such whiny hags. That new one, Miss Palmer, I won't even look her in the face. Looks like a manhole cover. <laughs> okay, mnie to w ogóle nie śmieszyło. Sekretarki. The secretaries. When you consider their job is to sit on their butts all day, they got some pretty nice rear views to offer this mirror. Sometimes I call Rosie up and invite her to the bowling alley so I can see her bend over and pick up the ball. <laughs> Ty zboczuchu. Przepraszam, chodziło mi o twoją opinię na temat jednego z pacjentów. Sorry, I actually wanted your opinion about one of the patients. Which one? Gabbo Spiegelman. Gabo Spiegelman. I found out that an envelope arrives at Happy Dale every month, and inside is a one million dollar donation. There's also a letter with no signature that asks that Gabo be treated kindly and well in exchange. That's why the guy lives like a prince. Intriguing, huh? No tak, ciekawe. Jacob Kurgan. Jacob Kurgan. He's bad news, Basco. Don't get anywhere near him. Even if you think you're a step ahead of him, He's already put you through the ringer, and he'd do it again in a snap. Uh, we really shouldn't be gossiping like this. Okay. W co grasz? What are you playing? I'm not playing. This is Elvis brain training. A real blast. Amazing for jogging the memory and increasing your knowledge about the king. I know it all, except for the ones I miss. Myślisz, że jestem szalony? Do you think I'm crazy? More or less. More than Quickle, but less than Junior. You're more at Gabo's level. 
but with a little touch of Hollister, a dash of Marcello, and a bit of Mr. Nice Guy. Like a loon, Basco. Next question. I'm gonna take a little walk. Be good if you can. No, dobra. Porozmawialiśmy sobie z Ernim. I w sumie interesuje mnie ta tabliczka, po której pisze. The other day, the one in the nurse's room went on the fritz, and they had to call in Chuck, the maintenance man. With my hand, with my head. No way. I'm such a nut job. I'll try to break it by whipping it with my tongue. Wszyscy uważają nas tutaj za psychicznie chorego. Na szczęście, Brian jest sobą i tak naprawdę tylko udaje. W ekwipunku mam żetony do kasyna oraz lejek. Okej. Okay. Warto to wiedzieć. Dobra, widzę, że tutaj mamy drzwi bezpieczeństwa i prawdopodobnie będziemy... I prawdopodobnie będziemy potrzebowali szyfru, żeby się tam dostać. Te drzwi mają czerwone światełka, więc pewnie są zamknięte. I think not. Only Junior's in there, staring out the window with that good old paper bag on his head. Only Junior's in. Cool. This is Doctor Reset in Kurgan's room. Whoa! Looks like that psycho doctored up his bed to make it look like he's lying under the blanket. That way, people will think he's sleeping and won't notice he's gone. In that case, I'd better not go in. Przypomina mi to troszeczkę ucieczkę z Alcatraz. Dobra, my wyszliśmy z tego pokoju 303, wejdźmy zatem do pokoju 304, jest zielona lampka, więc prawdopodobnie drzwi są otwarte. Hej, Marcelo! Why, thank you very much. What is it? Oh, a flower. Is it for me? It's lovely. A wonder of nature. Thanks, Marcelo. You're welcome, Basco. Positively, gościu. Hey, one question, Marcelo. Czy to prawda, że byłeś pierwszym mimem kontrosjonistą na świecie? Is it true you were the first contortionist mime in the whole world? So they say. Apparently, people like my performances quite a bit, especially the one with the imaginary box. Jak wyglądał numer z wyimaginowanym pudełkiem? What did that imaginary box routine look like? Picture this: the typical contortionist act, in which a man twists his body over into itself until it's so tiny he can fit inside of a very teeny box. The my innovation was to do so in an imaginary box. Which is much more difficult than squeezing into a real one. Basco nie cierpi mimów. Basco nie cierpi kontrosjonistów. Zatem Basco nie cierpi mimów kontrosjonistów. Basco detests mimes. Basco detests contortionists. Ergo, Basco detests contortionist mimes. Dobrze, co wam co powiedziałem? Okay, I take back what I said. Let's change the subject. Czemu masz spodnie obwiązane sznurkiem? Hey, what's up with that rope on your pants? I look completely ridiculous compared to the way I look with suspenders, don't I? Sure do. Thing is, when mine came loose yesterday, Miss Palmer almost lost an eye, but luckily she didn't. Yeah, talk about luck. Well, yes. Though Miss Palmer then had the brilliant idea of burning them. What? With a cigarette lighter. She burned your suspenders. But they were your prized possession. What a spiteful old hag! Myślałeś kiedyś, żeby ubrać się normalnie zamiast robić z siebie klauna? Have you ever thought about dressing normally instead of looking like a clown? Dobrze, co wam co powiedziałem? Okay, I take back what I said. I've got to go, pal. Okay. Marcelo, pozytywny mim kontrosjonista. Cokolwiek to znaczy. Those markers are dried up from the imaginary letters Marcelo's written to his imaginary friends. I don't see what for. Nie mogę tego zabrać do ekwipunku. That one's Marcelo's. What for? Marcelo's clothes don't fit me. It's more of a mess than mine, don't you think? Before the flower photo, there was an imaginary one in there, and Marcelo would change it every day. 
Once, he put an imaginary portrait of himself in it, dressed as Houdini. No, everything on there is Marcelo's. No, dobra. To jest łóżko Marcelo, a to jest łóżko moje. My alarm clock, reading materials and several cardboard boxes. Zobaczmy, czy coś będę mógł stąd zabrać. It'll be sad to leave behind all these issues of do-it-yourself science illustrated, but obviously I can't take them with me. That's where I hide my candy. Oh. Yeah, I want those candies. Miętówki powiadasz. Huh? Whoa, a knife. Where'd that come from? I can't let anyone see this. Oh, and my candy. Can't forget about that. Mamy nóż i to taki wiecie. Wygląda jak wojskowy. It mysteriously appeared underneath my pillow. No nieźle. Może mi się na pewno do czegoś przydać. No na pewno nikogo nie zabije, tym bardziej Marcelo. It's mine. And give it my plan to escape. Keep dreaming. Dobra, spytajmy się Marcelo, czy chce miętówkę. No, I'd better not give that to him. For his own good. Sprawdźmy, czy są jeszcze jakieś nowe opcje dialogowe. Listen, Marcelo. Chodzi mi o twój słynny numer, tom z wyimaginowane pudełkiem. Wciąż nie mogę uwierzyć, że pana Palmer spaliła twoje szelki. Zostanie miłem, było twoim dziecięcym marzeniem, czy to jakaś dziwna terapia? Was becoming a mime your childhood dream, or is it some kind of weird therapy? Okay, no nie chciałem go denerwować. Dobrze, cofam co powiedziałem. Okay, I take back what I said. Muszę iść. I've got to go, pal. Okay. Okay. O, jest jeszcze druga strona tego pokoju. My clothes are in there. It's no longer necessary for me to do that. Nic nie mogę stąd wyjąć. Jest kratka wentylacyjna. Hey, I never noticed there was a vent for the air duct system in here too. Gabo says the cabinet is so close to the vent that you can't squeeze through there. But why not try? Oh man, this is impossible. Someone put the cabinet so close to the air vent that getting through would be a miracle. I'd have to be rubber man to do this. Gabbo jest gumy. Jest przecież mimem. Mógłby się tu wdrapać i otworzyć dla nas tą kratkę. Listen, Marcelo. Marcelo znaczy się. Mógłbyś wejść przez otwór do kanałów wentylacyjnych? Could you get in the vent for the air conditioning ducts? Through the vent? Wouldn't I love to, Basco? But I'm the great Marcelo, and I can't stoop so low as to perform such a simple magic trick. It's for my own good. Prostych sztuczek, tak? Dobra, nie będziemy go obrażać. I've got to go, pal. Okay. Obstawiam, że będziemy musieli znaleźć inny szyb wentylacyjny. Dobra, co my mamy tutaj dalej? Pokój rekreacyjny. Ten pokój jest zamknięty. Możemy cofnąć się do Gabo i z nim porozmawiać. Hi, Miss Palm. Your medication. More pills? I had my meds today, don't you remember? You choose. Okay. Swallow. Good boy, Bosco. And keep an eye on your stuff. I saw Kurgan suspiciously fumbling around with your pillow. I bet he stole your hidden candy. Really? Okay. How cool. She fell for it. Thank goodness for the old put the pills behind the wisdom teeth technique. Czyli to sprawka Kurgana, że ten nóż znajdował się pod naszą poduszką. Dobra, wziąłem tabletki, pewnie piguła już nie będzie na mnie zwracał uwagi. Tu też mamy kolejny otwór wentylacyjny. It says the book, man's best friend. I don't have the key. They're whiteboards, the kind you write on with a special marker and erase with your shirt sleeve. O, to może mi się przydać. One will suffice, don't you think? You can tell some people have never had one of these in their pocket before. I don't want to get greedy. 
One will do the trick. No, ale jeszcze by się przydał jakiś pisak. No, I spent my whole childhood reading. My eyes are tired. There was a really funny one called Russian Roulette. I don't know why they got rid of it. Really, ever since Gabo taught me to play poker, there's just no comparison. Tutaj są pisaki. All right. I'll take the blue one. I go absolutely crazy over office supplies. It's better to steal the whole cookie jar than just one cookie. Nobody said anything, so I guess no one saw me take this. Widzieliśmy spinacze. The only one who refuses to have his drawings put up is Gabo. Logical. He can actually draw. No. Each picture is a masterpiece. It leads to the air ducts. Not a chance. Someone could see me. Na przykład ta piguła. No Gestapo girl would kick my high knee in a serious way. Dosłownie, mała gestapówka. Miss Palmer? Scram, Bosco. Na co jest ten nowy proszek, który mi pani dała? That new pill you gave me. What's it for? Bennett's orders. Ale co to jest? But what's it used for? Bennett's orders, I said. Benetta bez przesady. Bennett's? Oh, come on. If it were up to me, it wouldn't be medication. So shut your trap. I don't really care about that pill, but I do have other questions. Well, I don't have any answers. Nie, powinna pani grozić nam tym paralizatorem, wie pani? You shouldn't be threatening us with that taser, you know. And you shouldn't come near me when it's in my hand, should you? Kiedy wróci panna Carrington? When is Miss Carrington coming back? That's none of your business. Ale czuję się już lepiej, tak? But she is feeling better, right? It's none of my business. Pani jest tylko na zastępstwie. Kiedy wróci, pani odejdzie, tak? You're just the substitute. When she comes back, you'll leave, right? I'm your nurse, so watch your mouth. Jak pani sądzi, wypadła przypadkiem czy wyskoczyła? What's your opinion? Did she fall accidentally or did she jump? The West Wing could drive anyone bonkers. Panna Carrington była szczęśliwa pracując w tym skrzydle. Miss Carrington was really happy working in this wing. As corroborated by her swan dive out the window, right? Czyli ktoś ją musiał wypchnąć z okna. Prawdę mówiąc, nikt nie chce pracować w zachodnim skrzydle. The truth is that nobody ever wants to work in the West Wing. Psychopaths are not usually the life of the party. Zaczęła pani pracować w południowym skrzydle. Czemu przyszła tu pani na zastępstwo za pannę Carrington? You had just started working in the South Wing. Why did you have to come here and replace Miss Carrington? Yeah, that South Wing sure is full of peace and quiet, isn't it? What's it to you? Oops, I forgot to ask you one little detail about Miss Carrington. Talking about Miss Carrington makes me sad. Let's change the subject. Sure. To nothing, I propose. Nie zapomniała pani o godzinie terapii z tablicą? Didn't you forget the whiteboard therapy hour? It's canceled today. Dlaczego? Why? Because I don't want to. Potrzebuję terapii z tablicą. Jestem porąbany jak sto z drewna. I seriously need my whiteboard therapy. I'm daffy as a duck. You can't convince me. Okay. I guess I can skip my whiteboard therapy for one day. Nice chatting with you. See you around. Back to your room. No może nie do końca miło mi się z nią rozmawiało, ale mamy za to kosz na śmieci. It's like a spittoon for the drugged up insane crowd. No need to rummage for long. There's just a couple of little paper cups and the birthday candles from Monty Hollister's cake, brand new. Czy go się ma 102 lata? Ale ogólnie, to mi się podoba. Grzebanie w śmietniku. No. Okay, but just for 30 seconds, tops. I can't remember how many times it's been used as a projectable weapon. Okay. Możemy oglądać telewizję. Why change the channel? All the stations play the same junk. No dobra. 
Czyli tak, tutaj nic zrobić nie mogę, tu nic zrobić nie mogę, tu nie ma punktów interaktywnych. A ja wziąłem kilka elementów do mojego ekwipunku. O, jakiś dziaduszek. I drugi. One, he has a cold. And talking would be bad for his throat. Two, he's 102 years old. Let's not ask too much of the guy. Three, he went mute at the age of 90 something. Boli go gardło, ja mam miętówki. <coughs> your throat's mighty fine and your tonsils will shine. Splash, splash, splash. It's minty freshness galore. <laughs> w porządku, dziadzinka. From its sleek lines and the purr of the engine, I'd swear it was a 59 caddy. One, he, 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 four, he's going. From, he's heading faster than a speeding bullet towards Rancho Cucamonga, California. Dobra, nie będziemy mu przeszkadzać. Tu jest jakaś walizka. Whatever's inside, it's priceless to Mr. Nice. Ah, uh, I don't think that's a great idea. <laughs> that's not doable. Talk with Mr. Nice. Where do you get these wild ideas? Ale zobaczcie, co on trzyma w rękach. Tablice z napisem. Może w taki sposób będę mógł z nim porozmawiać. All right. Rancho Cucumonga. Zmywam się stąd. Jestem analfabetą. Nic. Hey, that's a great idea. He already has one. I don't want to give it to him. Okay. Mr. Nice doesn't speak. In fact, he doesn't even listen. No dobra, napisaliśmy na tablicy rancho, ale w jakim celu? Może damy mu niewidzialnego kwiatka. I don't want to give it to him. I don't want to give it to him. That's an innovative bookshelf. No, that would be like taking a piece of him. Pan książkowy. The other day, the one in the nurse's room went on the fritz, and they had to call in Chuck, the maintenance man. With my hand, with my head, no way. I'm such a nut job. I'll try to break it by whipping it with my tongue. Ale widzę kolejną kratkę wentylacyjną. It leads to the air ducts. Not a chance. Someone could see me. That won't work. Może coś z czymś będę mógł jeszcze połączyć. Uh, I don't think that's a great idea. I won't get anywhere. I won't get. I won't get anywhere. To w niczym nie pomoże. That's just sick. Okay. Czyli nie mam zielonego pojęcia, co mógłbym w tym pomieszczeniu zrobić. I love birthday party leftovers. No, that's Ernie's gig. Może coś będę mógł tutaj napisać. Better not even try. Lepiej nie próbować. No, I don't think that will be required. A gdybym chciał to zmazać, to w jaki sposób? Dobra. Być może nie mogę nic tutaj wykonać. Czyli tak, chodźmy jeszcze raz do Erniego. Hey Ernie. Basco? Co sądzisz o ludziach z Happy Day? Jak tam ćwiczenia mózgu z Elvisem? Myślisz, że jestem szalony? Ćwiczenia mózgu z Elvisem. Yo. And with... Hmm. I don't want to give it to him. Nie chcę mu tego dawać. Okay. Impossible. That psycho Kurgan left the key in the lock on the other side. Jak gdybyśmy tak ten klucz wypchnęli za pomocą noża. I don't like that idea. To jednak nie zadziała. Gabo, tell me something. Możesz mi przypomnieć pierwotny plan ucieczki, czemu muszę wyjść do kanału wentylacyjnego. Naprawdę lubisz banany, czy zwariowałem? Do you really like bananas, or am I just crazy? You answer that one yourself. Banana! Okay. Będę planował swoją ucieczkę, Gabo. I'm gonna keep planning my escape, Gabo. Good for you. Banana! 
Szkoda, że nie mogę się rozejrzeć dokładnie po jego pokoju. Ale to nic. Słuchajcie, moi drodzy, w tym miejscu kończymy ten odcineczek. Mam nadzieję, że Wam się podobał. Dzięki wielkie za uwagę, trzymajcie się i do usłyszenia w poniedziałek. Hej!